Hey guys, Joshua Hamlin coming to you here from Berlin near the base of the Alexanderplatz TV Tower and just wanted to give you a quick recap of some of our museum visits and what we've been doing today. We hit some really cool locations. So Berlin has a whole island called Museum Island that's dedicated to five big museums and there's some really incredible stuff in all of them. We hit three of them today and then another museum that I'll talk about in a bit. The first one we went to was the Pergamon Museum which has some really incredible things. The most famous piece is probably the Ishtar Gate from Babylon. It also has a massive market gate from a, a Roman market. So some really incredible ancient artifacts there and just the fact that they preserve these huge monuments from the ancient world is just really unprecedented. The gate they have from the Roman era is the largest monument ever preserved in a museum. So it's just amazing stuff. The second museum we went to after that was the Noise Museum and that is another, has a lot of ancient history. It focuses a lot more on kind of the Egyptian side of it. Also a lot of stuff that's been found at uh, what they think is the location of Troy. So the Egyptian stuff is really cool. They have the Nefertiti bust, which is very famous from Egyptian history, very well preserved. So that was really impressive. A lot of cool ancient artifacts there as well. Then we went over to uh, the third museum on the uh, island that we went to of the five, and that was the National Gallery uh, Art Museum. And this is full of all different painters and a lot of different time periods. Some of the most impressive stuff was the more modern kind of uh, 19th century uh, pointillism type of uh, painting. So a lot of cool stuff there. Uh, very impressive German painters and painters th throughout Europe. Monet, uh, Degas, all sorts of, of really great stuff there. The last museum we went to was the DDR Museum, and this was very interesting, uh, very relevant to Berlin. It was all about how people lived in East Berlin during uh, the communist reign. So if you're familiar with German history, then you know that uh, East and West Berlin were split. They put the uh, Berlin Wall up and split the city in two. And so the, the East and West people were living uh, very different lifestyles. West Berlin under uh, kind of capitalism and East Berlin under communism. And so it was very interesting to see how they lived. They had like whole apartment uh, rooms recreated. Talked a lot about uh, the shortages that a lot of people faced in getting things like computers and cars and all sorts of things like that and how the whole system was set up. So it was really neat visiting all these different museums and getting perspectives on history from ancient times all the way to more modern 20th century stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this recap of our museums. Thanks for watching everybody.